Hello everyone, my name is Dominono and welcome back to Portal 2. So, we're still here in this new test chamber with more repulsion gel in 60s aperture. The remnants. Also, I looked up vitrified while I was off camera and it's uh, for a solid to become a uh, non-amorphous liquid. Like glass, which is apparently a non-amorphous liquid. I don't know. It raised more questions than answered, to be honest, but uh, hey ho. Oh god. Please desist. Oh jeez. Um, right, what do I need you for? Ah, the button. And that's why there's water over here. I'm with you. Ta-da! Okie doke. So, yeah, vitrified means to, like, solidify a solid into a non-amorphous liquid, apparently. I I think, I think I'm remembering that, right? I hope I'm remembering that, right? Otherwise I sound like a crazy person. But yeah, cement, apparently, classifies. Filling a place with cement. I didn't know that glass was a non-amorphous liquid. That, uh, that's strange to me. I need more, I need more bounce. Where do I need it, though? Like, this activates the door, right? Oh no, this activates the lift. It's gotta turn off. It's gotta turn off to raise. So I must need to hit that with more gel at some point. Okay. For now, though, let's... Yeah. Alright. So now... Hey! Science isn't about why! Why not? Why is so much of our science dangerous? Why not marry safe science if you love it so much? In fact, why not invent a special safety door that won't hit you on the butt on the way out because you are fired? Now you test subject, you're doing fine. Yes, you. Box your stuff. Out the front door. Parking lot. Car. Goodbye. Well then. No, no need. There's no time for safe science and aperture science innovators. We need the unsafe science, because that's the stuff that will make progress happen. I don't know, I, I guess there's a certain kind of logic to that. How do you know what something will do if you're too afraid to mess with it? A man's got to bet on something once a day. Otherwise he could be lucky his the entire life and never know it. standing here listening to me means you've made a glorious contribution to science. As cool. founder and CEO of Aperture Science, I thank you for your participation and hope we can count on you for another round of tests. We're not going to release this stuff into the wild until it's good and damn ready, so as long as you keep yourself in top physical form, there will always be a limo waiting for you. Say goodbye, Carolyn. Goodbye, Carolyn. She is a gem. <laughs> she sure is. Uh, but apparently I can't leave this way. Is there a... can I portal through the... nope. Um, 4,000 meters. 3,975. Okay, so we're pretty, pretty damn deep then. I wonder how many, how many meters it is it to a mile? Portal there. So that must mean that there's another way through here somehow. I like that though. I like that apparently Aperture used to be just like, hey, you guys are like the best of the best. We'll give you like access to our testing shit for testing purposes. Like, okay, it kind of goes to shit a whole bunch, but they didn't just, like, kidnap people or anything. They were like, hey, you guys, you want to come back and do more testing for the benefit of the human race? Then you can. We're friendly like that. What else we got? Pump station beta. Okay. And this one's red. Red and blue. The classic colors. Let's see here. I'm assuming I need to get up there, so... Yep. Door and exit. Can I... Stab? Do I need that, maybe? Ah. Okay. With you. I need that bit, so... Wait, hang on. How do I get up there if this is here? Like, you see what I mean, right? 
I, I need to make this jump, but I... Huh. So, like, I can't shoot through these panes. So I must need to put that up there first. But then how do I get up here? Uh, bloody hell. Um... Please stop calling me dumb. I realize that there's an answer to this. And that I haven't figured it out yet. But there's no need to be mean. How did I know you were calling me dumb? Because you probably knew the answer already. And I'm standing here wasting time. Um... So if I need to get up here... In order to do this... And then... Ah... I figured it out. The wonders of conserved momentum. Bada bing, bada boom. Time to hippity hop to the barber shop and activate more gel. Huh. This computer is actually like a computer. We had uh, typewriters in the old one, didn't we? But now we've got sort of early grade CRT. Plus more printers. And the wood panelling's changed, and so has the floor that I have here. This stuff looks pretty 70s, so... Huh, maybe we're, maybe we're witnessing things change and develop in real time. Sort of. An emancipation grid for reasons. Uh, let's see. These pipes connect to this sphere and that one up there, apparently, so... That must be progress. Control room. How convenient to have a giant label on it. But then I guess this place is a little unorthodox in terms of architectural design. More with it being built into a salt mine. Greetings, friend. I'm Cave Johnson, CEO of Aperture Science. You might know us aware. as a vital participant in the 1968 Senate hearings on missing astronauts. And you've most likely used one of the many products we invented, but that other people have somehow managed to steal from us. Black Mesa can eat my bankrupt- Sir, the testing? Right. Now you might be asking yourself, Cave, just how difficult are these tests? What was in that phone book of a contract I signed? Am I in danger? Let me answer those questions with a question. Who wants to make $60? Cash. You can also feel free to relax for up to 20 minutes in the waiting room, which is a damn sight more comfortable than the park benches most of you were sleeping on when we found you. So, welcome to Aperture. You're here because we want the best, and you're it. Nope. Couldn't keep a straight face. Anyway, don't smudge up the glass down there. In fact, why don't you just go ahead and not touch anything, unless it's test-related. Hmm. So, yeah, apparently this is chronologically further along. He's older than his old portrait, and the tech has obviously updated a bit. But the first time around, in the 60s, they got, like, you know, they got war heroes, astronauts, Olympic heroes, shit like that. But now, apparently, they're picking people off of park benches, and people have been, other people have been stealing their tech. So, I guess, is this perhaps, like, the downfall of Aperture? Is this the start of the slope into... I don't know, whatever led to murderous AI machines. Remember, alert your supervisor if you see OSHA inspector, Department of Energy inspector, GAO accountant, undercover police officer, nuclear regulatory commissioner, FEMA coordinator, ordinary police officer, journalist, public works inspector, MSHA mine inspector, ATF slash FBI slash US marshal. Well, I don't know what ATF stands for. American Task Force? American Troop Force? I... Mm, I don't know, tell me in the comments if you know what ADF stands for, but yeah, apparently Aperture was having some trouble after they apparently did so well in the 60s. I'm assuming that this is the, um, was originally the way down. Yeah, this is the elevator shaft. So, I guess I need to go up there, but what's up here? Why could I access this? more office space. Is this a, a TV? I think it is. I was born in 1992, okay? I'm familiar with some old technology. I know what a floppy disk is, for example. You... Why am I walking through this desk? Oh dear, that... That's probably not supposed to happen. Um, but no, I, I, I think that's a TV. But it could be anything at this point. That might be... 
That might be a hand sanitizer, for all I know. Um, let's see. Ah, I'm willing to bet that maybe the handrail thingy here doesn't work, and that I might need to take the long road. Yes? No. Well then. Um, is there a lever in here that I've missed? This isn't moving. Okay, so there must be a there must be a button in the control room that I didn't notice. My bad. You're probably shouting at me. Uh, not behind the waiting room desk. This one? No. That seems like it would make sense, but no, no. If that's the waiting room, that maybe that doesn't. Control juncture? No. Anything? Junction box? Revelatory? Red button? Anything? Hmm. No? What the hell is this room? The room of nothing. The ominous room at the end. Um. I don't understand. Is it out here somewhere? Did I miss it? Hmm. Welcome to Aperture, where the science is the theoretical, but your $60 is fat. Yeah, so they had to resort to paying people 60 bucks to run tests. But if this thing... If this thing's supposed to move, then it's got to have a control button somewhere. That's where I came from. This... Was it upstairs and I didn't realize? Maybe, I guess. Boop. And let's try again, shall we? Anything? No. Um, remember, if you see an orange jumpsuit, hit the red button. <laughs> okay, then. Where is the red button? Where is any button? Like, I'm assuming that I have to... That I have to make that jump after I've connected this bridge, but... I don't know, am I wrong? I can also go over here. This thing? Maybe this is... Ah, yeah, this thing looks like it's connected to the power. Maybe I need to mess with that. No? Maybe not. Huh. Well. Oh. Oh. Not that one. That one. Ah, okay. Sorry, that was a... Uh, far more confusing than it probably should have been. By which I mean I'm dumb and I should have figured it out quickly. <laughs> Oh. 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 Um. No, wait. Just kill it and we'll call things even between us. No hard feelings. Yeah, mm, I don't know. Ah, uh, fine. Oh, thanks. Go away, bird. Chew. Hello. Did you feel that? That idiot doesn't know what he's doing up there. This whole place is going to explode in a few hours if somebody doesn't disconnect him. I can't move. And unless you're planning to saw your own head off and wedge it into my old body, you're going to need me to replace him. We're at an impasse. So what do you say? You carry me up to him and put me back into my body, and I stop us from blowing up and let you go. That sounds like a reasonable agreement. Yeah, I guess there is that. Fair enough. Oh. Okay. So now we're carrying around a potato. About a second. Yeah, okay, I get it. You are a really moody potato. So, now we're making friends with GLaDOS. Because Wheatley can't be trusted with the rest of it. 
and atomic fireballs sound like a bad thing. Like, I'm no expert on atomic theory or the fireballs generated from atomic whatevers. Fusion? Vision? The testing area is just up ahead. The quicker you get through, the quicker you'll get your 60 bucks. Carolyn, are the compensation vouchers ready? Yes, yes sir, sir, Mr. Johnson. Why did I just... Who is that? What the hell is going on here? Aha, uh -huh. the pieces start to fall into place. So, button up here. Button that connects to red gel. Now you may wonder what does red gel do? The answer is that it's acceleration gel. I'm not sure what that button was for. Hmm. Maybe we'll open the door just there. Ah. That's to get higher, so I need a block to do that. Okay. But I also need to... speed through this place. So... Ah. Hmm. Can I hit the ceiling from here? Yes, I can. Great. Thunk. And now I need this up here to go back down here. And then back over here. And then do this again. More or less, I think. That should do it. But, uh... Oh. Maybe not. Yeah, that's right. And that was not the right way. <laughs> Okay, so, uh, yes. Her name is Carolyn. Or at least it used to be, when she was somewhat organic, and not in the vegetable sense. Remember, do not leave your belongings here, loiter for more than 20 minutes, touch the glass, do wear a shirt and shoes at all times, move quickly through your test track, not forget to not touch the glass. Okay. Duly noted. Now I need to do something with this. Presumably... I need some speed. Boop. Nailed it. Okay, I guess emotional outbursts require more than 1.6 volts. Now we know that. We just need to relax. We're still going to find out what the hell's going on here. But calmly. You say so. Ooh. Those people in the portrait, they look so familiar. Yeah. Well, not to me, but this is Cave Johnson and then this must be Caroline. Who does sound a bit familiar. But, uh, yeah. So, GLaDOS used to be an actual person around since at least the 70s of Aperture. Anything else in here? Doesn't look like it, just more base computers and ancient tech. Uh, I'm get around through here. More testing. We'll do some testing, huh? That'll make you feel better. Let's see. Red and blue, and we need I'm assuming we're going to need bounce in order to clear this. But we should also need some speed. Hmm. Can I get just enough blue to make the bounce? But nope, that didn't really work. Um, 
Hmm. Is there another place to put it? Oh, there is actually. Derp. Nice job, stupid. So, red here. And then... Blue here. And this should let us do sick jumps. Now we need to get over there. Okay. Can we get up there, maybe? I don't think so. Um. Oh, there's a way up here, though. We need some speed. Hmm. Or maybe we just needed that kind of an angle. Yes? No. Okay. Worth a shot, I suppose. Um, hmm. The wonders of testing. And the wonders of the phrase, hmm, uh, hmm, um, uh. Let's see. Let's try and use some math here. Math? How's that going to help? Um, we need the speed to get through there. To get through there, we would need the red gel. But we might not have the... I wonder if the angle had been just smooth enough. I don't think it would have made it, to be honest, but... Hmm. I feel like I'm missing part of the... part of the aroundness. Hmm. If I bounced through this up there, could that... No, I don't think so. Let's try this once more time and see if I can get the angle right. This shit. Well then... <laughs> okay, so not that way. But if it's not that way, then which way is it? That's up there. Now... If we come back up here, then... It doesn't look like when we go over there, that seems sort of irrelevant. But... Shit. <laughs> God damn it. Um, okay, let's see if we can think about this, shall we? Then there's also those portal level spaces over here, which I don't get. I'm missing something here, I know it. I just don't know what. Like, what else could I do with the gel? Because it won't la there's like, there's nothing for it to land on up there. There's nothing to lower, nothing mechanical to operate, so... What happens if I do this? That just coats the wall. And that doesn't seem helpful in any way, shape, or form. Hmm. I couldn't coat the walls, could I? I don't think so, somehow. No, there's nowhere to get like an angle. I'd need to. But if I can do this, then what's the point? No, I need to do this in order to get over here. But then there's no point in this being portalable if I can't portal it for something. So what is it? Uh, 
am I right? Is it is it just portaling through those and that? But if it's just doing that, then why doesn't it work? I mean, it looks like the angle could do it, but I I keep messing up the the impact. Hmm. Maybe if we go back and give it one more good greenhouse go. Great job, astronaut, war hero, and or Olympian. With your help, we're gonna take a little. This on? Hey, listen up down there. That thing's called an elevator, not a bathroom. I swear I know him. Maybe you do. Oh, the sign changed again. So yeah, this must be like 70s era aperture. I can't believe it took me that long to figure out something that I already figured out how to do. <laughs> if you're interested in an additional $60, flag down a test associate and let them know. You could walk out of here with 120 weighing down your bindle if you let us take you apart, put some science stuff in you, then put you back together. Good as new. Uh-huh. I'll pass, I think. Let's see. These are all great, so I would assume that the gel can't stick to them. Yeah. But in that case, this seems like I need uh, speed gel. Um, I need to get up there to a box to activate that crate, which will do something. What is that? Bloody hell. Um, hmm. I like how enough of the test, like, space is still intact for it to function. In spite of everything else having fallen down around it. So, let's see. Let's go over here first. Ah. With the angle, I can get up here and over to there, I guess. That doesn't seem 100% useful, though. Hmm. Not yet, anyway. I'm missing something. Can I bring that closer to me, I wonder? Is there anything? I don't think so. I need to be able to get up on top of that uh, platform in order to get that crate, which I need for that over there. So, oh, what's that? Is this another jump? It is, in fact. Oh, shit. I overshot my distance. Oh, maybe that thing that the buttons connect to turns that so that it'll catch me. Ah, uh, okay. So that must be like one of the final parts of this test. Um, all right then. So I need to get up to that platform, but I don't have the momentum just yet. So. Ah, maybe I need to put some gel. Up here. Maybe? No? Doesn't look like it really has the momentum. Hmm. Um. Okay then. There's all sorts of portables over here, and I'm not sure why. Or maybe... Over to that one. Oh, oh no, that wasn't really the problem for that one, was it? That was that there was nothing to catch me on the other end. So that's fairly irrelevant. Um, there's like no flat ground like anywhere though. I mean, I guess I can go over here. Just have a look around. Yeah, this turns that around. So that will give me something to land on. Wait, why is that important, though? Bloody hell. There is a lot going on in this place. Which I guess, you know, I am grateful for. You know, it's a puzzle game. The idea is to figure out the puzzles. How could the bounce gel help me? I feel like the speed here is fine. I feel like that makes sense. But I need to be able to... I wonder, does the blue gel have more velocity? It does, actually. Ah, uh, gotcha, 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 gotcha. So now I can come over here. 
Try this again, and now I should make it. Yeah, now we're talking. Even though this thing feels like death. And uh, now we need to go over here. Let's put the button down. And, and now we need to get some bounce gel onto that pad. Ah, I'm with it now. I understand. I'm not completely stupid. Not completely. Honest. Honest and for true. So, will this make it out there? I didn't think so. Um. Wait. Maybe. Oh. I needed to coat it with gel. Oh no. Well, shoot. <laughs> anyway, I needed to coat the underside of the platform with gel first. Ah. I understand. I comprend, eh? I realized the thing. No thanks to you, potatoes. And here we go up to the barbershop, back to the cube. Gotcha. Clever stuff. The wonders of portals and gel. And that should do it, more or less. Right. Getting back here seems like it would be helpful. I need that speed. So, orange here, that's fine. Go! Nailed it! Gotcha. In case you're interested, there's still some positions available for that bonus opportunity I mentioned earlier. Again, all you gotta <coughs> do is let us disassemble you. We're not banging rocks together here, we know how to put a man back together. So, that's a complete reassembly. New vitals, spit shine on the old ones, plus we're scooping out tumors. Frankly, you ought to be paying us. Well, thanks for the offer, but I'll, uh... I don't think I have any tumors, and I will be... I'll be okay with not being disassembled and then reassembled. I, not that I don't appreciate the offer, the overtuning, but uh, I'm good. Thank you. I can't believe I'm thanking these people. For staggering your way through Aperture Science's propulsion gel testing, you've made some real contributions to society for a change, and for that, humanity is grateful. If you had any belongings, please pick them up now. We don't want old newspapers and sticks cluttering up the building. For many of you, I realize $60 is an unprecedented windfall, so don't go spending it all on, I don't know, Carolyn, what do these people buy? Tattered hats? Beard dirt? Beard dirt. Well, that's pretty good progress in pretty decent time. So, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next episode.